experimenting. I'm using my Canon. Whoops. It's a little bit off. There we go. There. Get a little straighter. All right, I'm experimenting uh, using my Canon uh, EOS 60D camera. Um, just experimenting with uh, different cameras uh, that I have. This one is I use uh, mostly for photographing my artwork uh, using strobes, but it has a movie quality or capability, and I thought maybe I'd try it and see how it turns out. I think what I'm going to do is take this off the board and move it up on the board. And she got it, I'm thinking, from uh, sculpt, sculpturedepot.net. I didn't think about using this the other day. Beautifully. Okay. The uh, battery is low, but it's got two batteries in it in the drive, and so we'll see how well that'll do. Just heat up the screws enough to get them to go into the clay easily. There we go. All right, I got her mounted, and uh, she's uh, in great shape right now. Now I need to get my light a little closer to my clay so it'll soften and uh, properly. Get the conches on the uh, belt a little bit better. I just adjusted the uh, uh, the ISO, which adjusts the uh, darkness of the uh, video. Um, it seems to be working fine. I will make this into a separate video just to, so that you can see uh, my little view. Now I stopped the camera because it looks like it's about ready to. Run out of battery power. It uh, obviously eats battery power real quick, especially when it's low anyway. All right. So this video will be on the repositioning of the clay on the board, and the next video will be me actually working on the, the clay. All right. This will be continued on to the next video. All right, now we'll go work on the arms. And uh, first I gotta figure out how long the arm will be. The elbow will go on, oh, probably down to there, so about one and a half heads. Actually one and maybe a can, uh, just a little bit for the wrist and then just about that long for the hand so let's uh, go ahead and get the arm made I'm not going to put much form into the arm because quite honestly uh, it doesn't need it not lifting something big and heavy I'll just uh, Form it. There's the wrist. I 
think what I'll do is put her hand down more to her, down more on her side here. Boy, it's cold in here today. Woo! It's almost 60 degrees outside, but it's cold in here. What I'm doing is just locking in the arm. Because it doesn't have an armature. And I'm going to trim the arm off just a little. Because I want the fingers to come across the arm. Maybe what I'll do is put the arm up there. And actually that covers up that nice detail of the uh, belt, so I'll just raise her arm up a little bit more and put her hand right there. So uh, looking at a model that uh, posed for me in, on a little bighorn back in the uh, early 2000s, about 2006. And uh, she had this uh, attachment to her belt. And it looked like it was just uh, sleeved on as a decoration. It was split, so I'm, I'm sure it was used to, uh, uh, if she was getting ready to ride her horse, she could uh, literally use it as a uh, whip on the horse itself. I'm filling behind that. <laughs> 